station in Texas has put the focus back on really an important conversation. Are you and your family prepared for an emergency like extreme flooding or a tornado? Seven Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley helps us create an emergency checklist tonight. Do enough people have emergency plans? Sadly, I, I would have to say no. According to the CDC, nearly half of all Americans do not have a first aid kit or emergency supplies or even copies of important personal documents. That's why emergency managers say what's happening with Hurricane Harvey should be a wake-up call for everyone to create an emergency plan. As blunt as it is, 72 hours you're going to be in it alone if it's a major catastrophic event, similar to what you're seeing that's taking place right now down in the Gulf states. Erie County is no stranger to natural disasters. In July, a tornado caused millions in damage as it blew in with only a few minutes warning. And who could forget the 2014 Snowvember storm that dropped eight feet of snow and trapped people for days. The time to prepare is ahead of time when there isn't anything going on. But the biggest reason for evacuation is a fire. You have as little as two minutes to escape your home safely. Erie County officials are once again reminding people to download the free Ready Erie app for smartphones. It can help you create an emergency plan that includes where to go and who to contact. It's the type of things that you need to think about in the event that you leave the house. The Red Cross recommends having an emergency kit with three days worth of food and water, medicine and copies of important documents. Things like a flashlight, um, a battery powered radio so that you can stay informed if you lose power and you're not available. 72 hours is more or less how long it would take following a disaster to make sure roads are clear, to make sure things are, are safe and to get those uh, pieces of equipment moved from across the country. When putting together an emergency plan, it is also very important to remember your pets. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll have some important information on that issue. In Buffalo, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. And we want to give you a big thanks for making our Taking Action for Texas Telethon yesterday here on 7ABC and on our Facebook Live a huge success. Yeah, thanks to your donations to the Red Cross, we raised more than $25,000 in just about three hours for the victims of Hurricane Harvey. The generosity of Western New Yorkers shining through once again in a time of need. It really was a special.